Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's makeup tutorial is going to be on this soft brown eye makeup look. So the first step is going to be applying our primer. I'm starting with my face today because the eyes are going to be quite soft and I felt like I could do my skin first instead of doing my eyes and I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Smoothing Primer and then I'm mixing together two foundations. I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation and the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation and just mixing them together and this just gives a really nice medium coverage finish. It's quite dewy so you do need to powder it a little bit uh, but I kept it quite dewy today because I just wanted to look quite fresh because the eyes were quite soft and I just wanted the face to look quite fresh and dewy so I didn't actually powder anything but you can go for whatever you feel and I just blended that in with the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and then I'm priming my eyes as always with my Soft Oak Paint Pot because you guys know I absolutely love this primer it just smooths the eye and just clears all the colour and then we just have a really nice smooth canvas to work on then I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Peach Smoothie Eyeshadow and just be applying this into our crease and this is just going to be our first transition shade and it's just going to make the rest of the eyeshadows blend absolutely perfectly. Next I'm going to be taking Makeup Geek's Frappe eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this into the crease also. This is just going to darken it but I am going to be applying this a little bit closer to the crease. This will just kind of darken it and make it look a lot warmer. Next I'm going to be taking Cocoa Bear eyeshadow also by Makeup Geek and be applying this into the crease with a slightly more tapered blending brush. It kind of tapers into a point which means it has more precision and it applies it more into a precise point. So I'm applying this into the deeper part of my crease and making sure to blend this really well with the first brush we use to apply our first eyeshadow and this will just make sure that everything is really nicely blended out and I'm just making sure to blend it as well as I can because I am going to be going back into that Cocoa Bear and just deepening that colour slightly just because I want it to be quite deep because we are going to go for a slight cut crease effect look. Then I'm going to be taking blank type eyeshadow from MAC and just be applying this all over our lid. This is an off-white colour, it does look almost white but it's actually an off-white so it's a little bit more of a cream colour and I'm just going to be creating a slight cut crease effect and just be using the edge of the brush to carve out that cut crease and just be following the line of my natural crease and just make sure that, that colour is really pigmented and that line is quite sharp. And I'm just going on top of that colour to make sure that it's really pigmented. Next I'm going to be applying some eyeliner, this is the Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner in Brown. I'm just going to be applying this with an eyeliner brush and just flicking it out slightly. I'm starting off on the outer corner and applying half of a wing and then I'm going to start blending that out because I want to make sure that this eyeliner looks really nice and diffused and as you can see when you just keep pushing it and blending it, it just creates the most gorgeous blended effect. Once you're done blending, you can go over and do the rest of the wing. Apply as much as you need to and then blend it out as quickly as you can because this eyeliner does dry. So once I've applied the next half of that eye, I go back into that smudging brush and just make sure that it's really well blended. Closing my eye to make sure that it is as blended onto my lid as possible. Next I'm going to be applying my false lashes, these are the Isla 100 lashes which have a lot of individual lashes, if you guys do want to know how I customise my lashes I will pop a link into the description box. Next I'm applying some concealer to my under eyes and I'm also going to be applying it onto the other high points of my face and this is just going to bring these areas forward and just kind of finish off the eye look because it just makes the eyes stand out a lot more and I'm just going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I'm going to be blending that into the rest of my complexion using the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. Now 
And I'm also using my Sigma 3D HD precision brush to get into all the little areas that are harder to reach with my sponge. So my camera went completely out of focus. I am so sorry. As you can see, I wanted to show you guys roughly what I was doing. What I did was apply some cream eyeliner into my my waterline and applied some eyeshadow and mascara to my bottom lash line. I bronzed my face and highlighted it and then I realised that my camera was completely out of focus so I am so sorry. You didn't miss too much thankfully. But now I'm going to be applying my lip colour and this is a Kiko retractable lip pencil. And I wanted to go for a really natural lip colour just because I wanted it to be all about the eyes. Although the eyes looked really really natural, I kind of wanted it to be a really neutral lip. So go for whatever lip you want because this look actually will go with any lip colour you choose. So I'm just going to be applying this lip liner all over my lip and then I'm going to be applying a MAC Mineralize lipstick and this is in Pure Pout. This is such a gorgeous colour and it's one of my favorite lipsticks for summer just because it's so hydrating and it looks really plump and beautiful. So guys, as the end of this look, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please do give this video a thumbs up if you did. Again, I am very sorry that my camera went out of focus for a little bit of the tutorial. I will definitely check next time to make sure that doesn't happen. If you guys do want to see more videos from me then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to check the description box for all of the products I use today and also more information of other cool stuff. So I will see you guys in my next video. Take care, bye!